Rebecca Parsons, I'm the Chief Technology Officer for ThoughtWorks. I'm here at the Agile 2011 conference and I want to talk a little bit about our Pillar 3 initiatives. ThoughtWorks organizes its business around three pillars and Pillar 3 represents um, our intention to advocate passionately for economic and social justice. One aspect of our Pillar 3 activities is something we call our Social Impact Program. And within the confines of that program we allocate budget in terms of people as well as money to develop software for uh, organizations that have a social mission. One area that is of particular focus of ours has to do with the use of mobile communications in the developing world. And the current funding model for many projects that go on in the developing world has, is, is very project focused. And so an organization like the Gates Foundation will give a grant to do a particular project. And that's all that that grant is for. And so what we find is that various projects are re-implementing some fundamental services around mobile communications in the developing world simply because no one has the budget to actually step back and say these are the common services that could be provided in this context. And so that's a project that ThoughtWorks in conjunction with Columbia University and H&I has decided to take on. And we have an open source project called Mangrove uh, which is actually putting together the infrastructure required to do data collection and monitoring through an SMS network. And we're, we're putting this out in the open source community and we're rolling out a sample application of it, again in conjunction with, with HNI, to do, uh, to, to do health related uh, projects within India. And our hope is that by utilizing the standard framework, the money that is, that is used by other organizations like Gates and some of the other um, uh, funding charitable funding organizations can be utilized to actually develop incremental new technology rather than continually having to pay to do that 70% or 80% of the project that is standard. So it's our hope that this is actually going to free up resources for more uh, functionally specific development to go on in some of these projects.